Hey guys, this is Skinless, the guild leader for Eternal Alliance, and we're going to be looking today at the Dakota uh, Jedi uh, Galactic Challenge, uh, so Tier 7. Um, with this one here, it's going to be bonuses for Sith uh, going against the Jedi, and we're going to be looking at two specific feats. So not only completing the battle, I guess we'll be looking at multiple uh, three feats uh, using full Sith units, and then the other one's going to be the... 30 stuns that um being applied so with that unfortunately with as we know with cg they don't give us the ability to have a counter in game so we have to count it ourselves um unlike the malik video we did a while back where we have to just kind of guesstimate this one will actually count out how we do it uh, as we go along um but the team that i've been turned on to is actually um given to me by x2xx in um, Eternal Alliance 5, and I want to let uh, everyone know that he is the one who gave me the, that combo So um, to use. And with it, we're going to be using specifically Emperor Palpatine, Darth Malak, uh, Bastilla Fallen, Count Dooku, and Darth Treya. Uh, I do have EP at Relic 7. I've thrown a potency set on him with some survivability. Um, his potency is uh, about 85.53%. Um, could be higher, just threw some extra, threw some random, um, potency on there, just to try to see what we can get. Uh, with Malik, um, I mean, I've gone ahead, and he doesn't have a ton of potency on him, but he's really gonna be there, just kind of tank a bit, um, and hold on to the, hold on to the team for me. Um, I do have him at 200 and, what was that, it was like 297 speed, um, doesn't really fully matter there. Uh, but still, Fallen has to be your fastest tune, though, uh, to be able to get out their uh, battle meditation uh, and, and the fear early on. Um, so you sp uh, want her just whatever you can get fastest. So I've got her 318 speed here in this video, um, and I've got her set up with a potency pool of 76.88%. I normally do a um 90 percent run myself um with my other run uh, but it's a much lower speed which didn't out outdo my malik so with count dooku um i do have a speed set with him uh, to give up to 294 speed and then he has a really uh, i've got a lot of potency uh, extras added onto him to make sure that his basics are always doing the stuns. Uh, so he has 144.16% potency for this, um, which is what I normally use on my basic kit. And then with Darth Treya, um, she's specifically going to be there more so for the isolate on GK, um, and giving and, and doing her, um, the extra, um, bonuses for, uh, keeping Malik alive. So she's got 265 speed and she's kept uh, quite healthy there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the battle. All right, so first off, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're looking to apply the fear across the board. Um, I actually ended up losing count when I ran this, so I ended up going a little bit further uh, on those stuns, but you want to go ahead and stun a GK using Malik, and then I went ahead and started off looking at who need who who I could start stunning that has more health. Um, some stuns stuck, some those other some others didn't, um, but I kind of just moved myself around the field, uh, avoiding killing anyone initially, uh, while I tried to get some of these stuns to apply. Um, so luckily, while a tune is stunned, you can already get additional stuns. Um, kind of looking there, you can see the shocks written above there. You can see a stun here and there. Um, so you kind of want to keep the battle going. Um, it takes about four, five minutes tops to, to go through this here. And you're kind of just bouncing around the field um, using your... Um, using the... Uh, uh, the chain lighting essentially to stun additional units so look for the ones that are shocked and go from there when you're not going to be able to use a stun based move i would go back to uh jedi knight luke and kind of just use him as my punching bag to stall essentially so from here kind of just debating all right and then malik took a really big hit but luckily um you can go ahead and 
give him a big heal there. Uh, from there, if you get into that kind of scenario, you want to go ahead and apply the fear again to allow yourself to get out of all those stuns that you had. Um, unfortunately, if Treya were, you know, up, she would be able to go ahead and use her basic and apply the stuns uh, that her allies had. Um, but at this point, kind of just going through, I think I realized I lost count at this point right here um, and started to think, okay, well, what do I do? So at this point, if you do run out of ideas, the big key is you don't want to lose specifically. Um, so keep yourself jumping around until you end up killing Luke like that. So at that point, I realized, okay, well, you can pretty much safely assure yourself that you have your stuns. Because um, you get two for every time that Dooku... That uh, uses his basic for the most part using higher potency. Um, and then you're going to get um, theoretically four stuns because Giant Luke isn't counted, but you should get four stuns from using um, the, the Chain Lightning, spe the special from EP. So add the fear to kind of keep things going um, a little bit longer. And I started using Hermit Yoda as my punching bag. So when in doubt, you can kind of start using him a bit, too, along with GK. Um, and let's see. So, again, I recorded this a little bit earlier just because I kept voicing over. It took me two attempts to actually make this work um, to continue to get all the stuns. And I we definitely had the full amount of stuns at this point here. So you can kind of stop dancing around at that point. So it's a little bit... A little bit extra. It's, it's harder to, to exactly count these kinds of things. So the longer you can kind of keep them going without it uh, affecting the amount of time you have that day, um, the better, just to be sure. Um, so at this point, it's once you have one to two of them dead, you can really look at just ending the battle. Jump around between whoever's with the highest health just so that you can get any last-minute additional bits to bring it all together um, but right here at this point um, we went ahead and we finished this up and I think I did the yep, I used the middle just to get that last minute stun just in case and to that point um, you'll then see that you've gotten all the all the feats so there we go